We're glad you made it here. Mayor Eugene Grant asked for you specifically. We need your help responding to this emergency. The monitors in front of you provide access to the Seat Pleasant Connected Government Solution or CGS for short. Use your laser pointer to click on the green button at the bottom of the monitors to get started. Flood when it was struck again. Jeff Begays is there. Jeff. Yana, take a look behind me. That patch of mud over there that used to be an asphalt parking lot. The monitor on your right provides a global overview to regional and local alerts and incidents. You will see the full command menus there. On the left monitor, we will display the primary commands and windows to walk you through some scenarios. On each screen, use your laser pointer to click the green button to advance to the next step. Raging rivers of water tore through the heart of Ellicott City, leaving homes and businesses flooded and some residents scrambling for dry ground. It's like up to the top of a door there. Fire officials say about 300 people were rescued. 30 were in serious danger. Still unaccounted. Opening the alert inbox window displays all alerts received by the system. As the hurricane makes its way through the city, sensors throughout the city reveal the extent of the damage in real time. Citizens are also alerting us via their mobile devices of hazardous conditions that require our attention, while, at the same time, hospitals, schools, and other critical infrastructure communicate the status of their operational integrity. Let's start by focusing on all high-priority alerts. This is a crippling setback. Howard County Executive Alan Kittleman said the county had just received funding for planned storm retention ponds and extra drainage pipes to prevent this kind of flooding. How would you describe the flooding here this time? The alert details window provides all the relevant details of an alert as well as options to respond. If you click the green button again, we will clear the windows and zoom in on the map on the right monitor. They are bracing for what they are about to see. These events are traumatizing, they hurt. Jason Barnes had to rebuild his toy store after the last flood. What is left of your property? <sighs> Unsure, um, I think the ground level might be okay, but I'm pretty sure our basement level with all our online inventory. All those icons represent city facilities from police and fire stations to schools and hospitals, transportation and more. Behind the scenes are systems that tie together all the city's facilities and services. Click the green button to view the decision support tool. Edison Herman, who has now been missing for more than 24 hours. The city could really use a miracle right about now. The decision support tool provides access to pre-planning, staging, response, and recovery tools. But we begin this Memorial Day with a search for a National Guard member and Air Force veteran who went missing last night in the devastating flash flood in Ellicott City, Maryland. The city has been Selecting the lost power alert also updated our map on the right monitor to show the affected area inside the yellow rectangle. Yana, take a look behind me. That patch of mud over there that used to be an This alert shows that there are reports of a power outage in Ward 4. Let's first check the status of the power station by opening it on the map and then the status of the rest of our critical infrastructure. In mud and some windows. The power station details window shows that the its operational status has been downgraded to red, indicating that there is complete loss of power due to significant damage from the storm. Homes and businesses flooded. We see the school location highlighted on the map and also learn from the details that the school is closed and will delay opening, so there is no critical situation. Let's check the hospital now. Still unaccounted for 39-year-old Edison Herman. The Army National Guard member was helping a woman find her pet when he was swept away. Rescue crews are checking these vehicles. They're checking this area making sure that there is no one in any of these cars. Look at that one down there. It is filled with mud. We see that the hospital is nearly at full capacity and a power loss could be serious. We'll therefore change the power loss alert status to an incident. Went through what was supposed to be a once in a lifetime flood just two years ago. Creating an incident allows us to log details, request services, assign tasks and access additional information. Let's examine some details. And storm retention ponds and extra drainage pipes. The incident details also show nearby cameras. The flooding here this time. 
I would say that it's worse than it was in July of Opening the nearby cameras allows us to see exactly what is happening in the city. We met these property owners as they prepared to inspect the damage for themselves. They are bracing for what they are about to see. These events are traumatizing. They hurt. Jason Barnes had to rebuild his toy store after the last flood. What is left of your property? Unsure. Um, I think the ground level might be okay, but I'm pretty sure our basement level... With In the case of the crime alert for looting, we learned that the alert was automatically generated by the city's theft monitoring system. What's the latest on the search for the guardsmen? Oh, look behind me, you can see that there is debris all over this town, so search crews are bringing in canine units to find Edison Herman, who has now been missing for more than 24 hours. The city could really use a miracle right about now. Jeff, thank you. Has made landfall on the Gulf Coast. We'll have the latest on the storm in just a moment. But we begin this Memorial Day with a search for a National Guard member and Air Force veteran who went missing last night in the devastating flash flood in Ellicott City, Maryland. The city has barely recovered from a 2016 flood when it was struck again. Jeff Begays is there. Jeff. Yana, take a look behind me. That patch of mud over there, that used to be an asphalt parking lot. But right now, the asphalt right over there, you can see it's been ripped up. Those heavy rains propelled the flood water through Ellicott City here. And right now you have backyards that are coated in mud and some windows and doors are coated as well. In a devastating deja vu, raging rivers of water tore through the heart of Ellicott City, leaving homes and businesses flooded. And Great work. Your quick response to the accident may save lives tonight. We have finished responding to all five high priority alerts. People were rescued. 30 were in serious danger. Still unaccounted for 39-year-old Edison Herman. Thank you for participating in our demonstration of the Seat Pleasant Connected Government System. We just scratched the surface of its capabilities. If you liked what you saw, then we look forward to your participation in a full, live demonstration. Look at that one down there. It is filled with mud, rocks, other debris that it picked up as it was being dragged down this street. We're glad you could join us. Mayor Eugene Grant asked for you specifically. The monitors in front of you provide access to the Seat Pleasant Connected Government Solution or CGS for short. We are going to provide you with an introduction to the system. Use your laser pointer to click on the green button on the bottom of the monitors to get started. You can choose between several types of maps. Let's change from satellite to street view and get started. Moving forward, Seat Pleasant is partnering with one of the world's largest corporations, International Business Machines Corporation, or IBM, to build an authentic smart city through an intelligent operation. The map icons label IOC. various city services, such as police stations, hospitals, schools, power stations, and so on. Various alerts will also appear. First, we will see how to monitor city services. And we have a noble cause. This is the right time to do what is right for the human family. The time is now. Thank you, Mr. President. The mission readiness window will allow you to access citywide operations, such as hospitals, police and fire and public works. To the presidency of the Italian Council of Ministers, the Italian Chamber of Deputies, it is a privilege to share this platform it's such a distinguished and eclectic panel of leaders around the world. Moving forward, Seat Pleasant is partnering with one of the world's largest corporations. The main screen also provides access to social media, such as the Twitter stream, where you can filter by hashtags and location. Through an intelligent operations center, or IOC. And a truly functional oh no, looks like there is a flurry of tweets regarding a possible school shooting. Training time is over, let's dive in. Select alert triage to get to the incident list on the next screen to begin our response. And we have a noble cause. This is the right time to do what is right for the human family. The time is now. Thank you, Mr. President.
On the incident list screen we can create a new incident and begin a response. To the Presidency of the Italian Council of Ministers, the Italian Chamber of Deputies. It is a privilege to share this platform with such a distinguished and eclectic panel of leaders around the world. Moving forward, C. Pleasant is partnering with one of the world's largest now that we have created the incident, we can create and view an event file to track all alerts and Imagine activities Mark, related so to the many incident. Unanswered questions, even at this point, seven hours after the shooting, but we're still working to get you answers. Here on the scene, we can see that police presence has been somewhat scaled back, but police are still working. Noblesville West Middle School, this still remains a crime scene. But the other big headline We can add is tasks such as dispatching school. backup that is officers. Science teacher Jason Seaman. His mom has already identified him on Twitter, so we can say his name now because of mom. We will not be saying the name of the student who was injured until police or parents release that name. And you will not hear from Now us we will establish a perimeter and control the situation around the school through the tactical data problem. layer so tool. Something changes, you will not hear those names until we get them uh, from police or from their parents. Let me show you what unfolded here. Let me show you the punch in the gut, the horror that really unfolded here in Hamilton County in Noblesville, a school district with more than 1,300 students. At this school, Noblesville West, at 906, police were called to the scene and they showed up immediately after the reports of a shooting inside a science classroom on the second floor of this building. Next, we Jason return to citywide Seaman, services the via the mission readiness icon. Swatted the gun away from from the student tackled the students until police could arrive in the meantime though police and teachers had a job to do and that was to make sure that students in this building were okay so they were taken all over to noblesville high school where they could here be we can access hospital information and prepare for potential casualties while, but it took time and parents did the best that they could considering what was unfolding. I had a chance to speak to a seventh grader as we come back live here in Noblesville, who was on the second floor of the school, Ethan Stonebreaker. His parents allowed me to ask him some questions. Selecting the he school from the map view allows class. us to access we additional information such as available cameras. Test. When he saw his classmate come in to the classroom, reach into his right pocket, according to Ethan, and then he began shooting four to six times. This is what Ethan had to say. Our science teacher immediately ran at, at him, swatted the gun out of his hand, and tackled him to the ground. So do you credit the teacher's actions? Talk yeah. about that. He definitely... We get a bird's eye view as the suspect is apprehended and the sure. situation is resolved. And who knows what would have happened if we could have been killed, anything, something bad to us. Thank you for participating in our demonstration of the Seat Pleasant Connected he Government System. After he we just scratched the, the surface of its capabilities. If you liked what you saw, then we look forward to your participation in a full live demonstration.